Hello and welcome everyone. It's your good pal Mitchell here and we are at the Red Bull Holden Racing Team launch of the ZB Commodore. Now, I know what you're wondering. What are we doing on the water? Well, these guys like to do something a little bit different. And I know you're also saying, you've already seen the ZB Commodore. That was a prototype and we did get a sneak peek of it yesterday. However, today we get to see the whole car. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please make some noise for the 2018 Red Bull Holden Racing Team Commodore, the next gen Commodore is about to hit the track this season and we cannot wait. Take a look and put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. So here we are with Shane Van Gisbergen. So, what do we think of the new car? I think it looks awesome, you know, the livery itself, but also the way the hatchback came out. So the splitter looks quite aggressive, a bit sleeker than the last model, but also the big wing on the back. I think it's come out really good, looks aggressive, looks like a proper race car. Yeah. All right, so you, you've driven the prototype. Uh, how does this differ from the VF? Like, does the aero play a big difference? Is it going to be, do you feel like it's going to be harder on the tyres or better on the tyres? Well, the thing is, everything's done parity. So we had what we thought was close to the window. We just wanted the characteristic to be a bit nicer and more consistent. But the downforce is all the same but hopefully it doesn't change as much through the corner. So, you know, we'll see if we've achieved that when we get on track at Eastern Creek. But, um, yeah, it, it looks good, so hopefully it goes as fast as it looks. Yeah. And uh, one more question. Seeing the whole Gen 2 rules have opened the books and, you, you know, it's allowed, like, other cars to yep. join it, uh, what, what car would you like to personally see line up on the grid sometime in the future? Well, it would be the Godzilla, wouldn't it? It has such a massive history in the, uh, in the racing in Australia and, and worldwide. It's a, it's a known race car, but having that join, I don't know why Nissan haven't, haven't tried to make that happen. You know, the motor for them would be great. The car's awesome. And I think it's, uh, it's, it fits with the other brands, the, the, the Commodore and, and the Ford thing. So, yeah, I think it would be we're good to see them join, but, um, you know, Hopefully they stay in the sport too. Awesome. Thank you very much. No worries. Cheers, mate. Yeah. So if we have a look, the differences between the ZB and the uh, VF Commodore, it clearly is... Oh, oh have a look at this. It's Wind Cup. Who would have thought to see you here? So uh, this ZB, um, obviously the spoiler and the front end, they're, they're, the, they're the biggest differences. Um, however, is this car... Um, the same underneath or has it been built from the ground up so it's essentially a new car not the, running the same chassis as it was last year? It's a it's a brand new car it obviously runs all the, the supercar specifications underneath which are similar year from year but um, brand new aerodynamics and you know we adopt we adopt the the next gen Commodore's rear end which is a hatch you know it's not, it's not a standard sedan it's a hatch uh, which obviously offers massive headroom for the for the passenger more luggage space um, so to be able to adopt all that all that good road car stuff in a race car um, we're a bit biased but we, we think it looks really cool and um, the, the aerodynamics are the same from year after year because because of the parity but um, we think it's a cool looking thing and with the with, with the new paint we're, we're pretty proud to represent it Yes, I do have to admit it is uh, quite striking compared to the VF. Um, so the V6 uh, twin turbo, um, what what do you think that's going to be like in this car? Like, is it going to be better than the five liter V8, or is it is it going to be a long way before it can match the V8? Well, the big plus is we're aligning with the manufacturers and. Uh, if that opens up doors for more manufacturers to come in and play play in our supercar field, that's a, that's a good thing. Holden is certainly focused on on the the V6 era, uh, and we're we're happy to follow. A lot of development will go on this year, and we're looking forward to rolling out that uh, that V6 twin turbo in 2019. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you. See ya. So there you have it, everyone. The new ZB Commodore supercar. Now, let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Personally, I think it is quite striking, much more uh, aerodynamic compared to the VF, even though it shares the same aerodynamics for parity reasons. But once again, let us know what you think.